you had a little bit of a rough day. George, what do you think? Working for Trump is a very serious business. Whoever's going to get the job ultimately is going to spend a lot of time with me. And I don't want to deal with an idiot. But what's easier than selling lemonade? What do you need? Location, location, location. You got to pick out the spot where the most people are there that your potential customers. Some of the locations were a little bit better than others. We were initially in a great location right next to the seaport. I do know that Fulton Street Fish Market is right next to it. And so I just thought it'd be an easy place to get to, set up quickly and be ready for the lunchtime crowd. Setting up at the Fulton Fish Market with the stink of the, you know, the fish market, to me, I, it's not very tempting. David, if you were the team leader, do you think the result would have been different? Not in this case, because sales is not my forte. Jason, what about you? Well, you've been sitting here very quietly. Got something to say? I'm just kind of listening to what everybody says, and... Uh, uh, yeah, no, and unfortunately, at this point, listeners, we got plenty. Well, we need talkers. I, I, I understand that, but I'm not just going to talk to talk. Everybody here is a good leader. I'm not going to argue with that, and, and I'll stick up for everybody on that, but... But the they were saying that Troy isn't a good leader. What I, Well, I, I didn't finish. I'm saying that... Now, Jason, let me just say something. When you're trying to be chosen by someone, you don't interrupt them and say, let me finish. That's number one, you know, in mm -hmm. terms of life. We're talking about life, right, yes. fellas? Yes, sir. So when I ask you a question, and I'm not finished with the question, you don't say, let me finish. That's a bad move, you know. Jason, do you think if you were the leader, the result would have been different? Yes, I think the result would have been different. Why, Jason? Troy was the leader, and really, the leader is supposed to listen, take everything in, and then at that point decide what's going on, not all of a sudden get out of the gate and start delegating. Do you think they would have listened to you? Yeah, because I would have listened to them. See, I think that's business school stuff. You have to act, not just listen. Troy. It's easy to answer these questions today Monday morning right. quarterback. because you're a Monday that's morning right. quarterback. Yeah. Good. You're right. Good. But by God, I had the balls to step up and I kept positive with my team as much as I could. I told Kwame, this is the location. I back you up. You made your decision. That's it. Who do you think, Jason? Who's the worst leader? I would probably say Sam. 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 Wow. Sam. I would actually say Sam as well. Sam. Is that because Sam is going over the edge? I can answer yes. that I question. <laughs> he doesn't earn the respect of the team. Sam, so who do you think is the worst leader? David. Why is he the worst leader? I don't know if David believes in himself as a leader. Oh, really? Sam, they are killing you. I just want to make some What are you doing I'm here, Sam? Here, they actually. are killing you. By doing what he did, did he go over the edge? He went over the edge. If I am your president, Mr. Trump, I'm going to stand right here in front of you, and I'm going to say it in front of everybody here, I will not break the rules for your organization. If you tell me I'm coming close, I will stop. And if you have to punch me in the stomach and tell me to sit down and shut up, I'll shut up and I'll learn. Mr. Trump, I don't want to work for anybody else in this country. I come and work for you and be your apprentice and follow the rules. You want to work for the best. I'm learning here. It's a big stretch. No, it's not a big stretch for me, Mr. Trump, because I learn fast. I you learn... don't believe in the genetic pool? Excuse that what me? you have, you have? I mean... I've got genetic pool big time, Mr. Trump, just like you got from your father, Fred Trump, and your mother, Mary Trump. All right, well, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Now, listen, Troy, you may be the project manager. But you're not the only one responsible for the failure of this corporation. I want you to tell me who the two people are you feel are equally responsible for your team's loss and really would not be essentially a good president of one of my companies. I'm going to ask Sam to join us in the boardroom. I also think that David should join us in the boardroom. OK, I'm going to ask the five Jason, Nick, Kwame, Bowie, and Bill. Go back up to the suite. You three, Troy, Sam, and David. Go outside. We're going to have a little discussion, and you'll come back momentarily. Thank you, sir. How do you feel about Troy? I see him turn on the charm, but I've actually seen him in action. And I think he was somewhat inconsistent. David, Donald Trump is a forward-thinking guy. I don't sense that you 
are necessarily going to be the guy who's ultimately going to be the president of one of his organizations. I think you may we'll be. Have to in wait and see. I'll tell you what I didn't like about David. You asked David, did Sam step over the line? Sam did not step over that legal line. He did not break the rules. You know what? That's important that you say that because I sort of thought he did, and you were there, and you don't think he did. I'm going to be the president of the Trump Organization. I can't do it today. I can't do it today. You know what I'm doing right now? I'm like this. I'm like this. And you know what? Maybe we should all crawl in there, because you know what? Like all... I already said, denial is a river in Africa. But I'm not denying anything. Today, I'm crawling. Tomorrow, I'm going to be like this. Next week, I'm going to be like this. And in a couple weeks, I'm going to stand up there, just like he does, and I'm going to be promoted the president of his organization. Now I'm you're, not now you're homo erectus, OK? I like Sam. I think he's a risk taker. You don't think you have to watch him constantly yeah, watch him? Yeah, but that's all right. If you, you've been taking risks all your life. We'll find out if I hung myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say any more. All right, let me get Robin. Robin. Let him come in, please. OK. You can go and see Mr. Trump now. So, Troy, I know why you pick Sam. I don't know why you picked David. What happened? I think David is a fantastic logistics person, numbers person. I think that he is going to make a great right-hand man. So you don't think David would make a good leader? That is correct. And Sam you pick because he's just sort of uncontrolled. You wouldn't necessarily trust him with your bank account? Sam's a maverick. That would you trust him with your bank account? Absolutely not. With me, I was born with principles, I was born with values, and more so, I was born with genes. And, and you don't think me. he's got those Troy, principles? Troy, you're, 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 you're getting rough here. For you to say that you would not trust me with your, your bank account is saying that you think I am dishonest. Maybe I want you to, to articulate that to Maybe me. Maybe it's lack of discretion, not lack of honesty. Troy, you've done a lousy job as the leader, really. The women kicked you around badly, and you've done a bad job. Despite that, you did step up, and you do have potential. So I'm going to let you stay. Thank you, sir. Now, Sam, it seemed to be unanimous that I don't even think it's lack of leadership. Sit down. Thank you, Mr. Trump. You got to be careful, because you're will. a wild man. You'll do great, or you'll be a total disaster. I haven't figured it out yet. David, on the complete opposite side, I don't see that you stepped up at all. You even admitted that you wouldn't have been a good leader. As you both know, we have an elevator that goes up to the suite and an elevator that goes down to the street. One of you will stay, and one of you will be sent home. And David, I'm going to ask you to take the down elevator. You're fired. I'm sorry to hear that. Go ahead, fellas. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Good luck. With David, I'm not seeing anything. I think he's very smart. I think he's a lovely guy, but I'm not seeing it. That was very interesting and somewhat surprising. Hello, fellas. Hello. 
close. Good evening, Mr. Trump. Well, here we go again. Jason, what happened? Well, we put together a phenomenal package. Unfortunately, it wasn't the one that they wanted. Okay, fellas, what do you think of your team leader, Jason? Jason's a great second half quarterback. I think we're a second half team. Go ahead, Nick. I think Jason performed well, especially the way we started off. Midway through, he took the reins, he took charge, made quick decisions, because we had to get things in under certain timelines, and I thought he performed well, his choices were well thought out. Are you saying that because you don't want Jason to pick you as one of the not two? Not one bit, not one bit. I thought his decisions were, were real sharp and well thought out. Sam, do you think Jason was good or, or terrible? I don't think Jason was good. I don't think he was terrible. Are those the only two options? I'll bet he chooses you because of that statement as one of the two. I am confident that he will choose me. But Kwame, if you had to choose somebody that did really a bad job in this, who do you think you'd choose? I don't think there is someone who necessarily led us down the wrong path. I think, yes, we should have talked to the president. The original decision was made by the team leader not to call and not, not to, to not meet. To, yeah. I think that was a terrible decision. That was the team leader's decision. Okay. I think that's a terrible decision. If you had met with the president face to face, you would have known he wanted to flash your campaign. All right, it's time now, Jason. As project manager, I'm holding you partially responsible. But pick two people who you think contributed to your failure as a team. Who are they? OK, I would say the first one is Sam. As a team leader, the only thing that really insulted me, someone was asleep on the job. And that was Sam. And that was Sam. Now, pick number two. <sighs> yeah, Sam was the easy one, guys. Um, I'd probably pick Nick. Nick? Nick? Wow, that's surprising. OK. He was very nice to you. He said you were a wonderful guy. He said you did a good job. I thought that was very smart of Nick. Why Nick? I can honestly tell you that this is a tough decision. And whatever decision after Other than Sam. Other than Sam. Now, you could say that's disloyal. Nick, do you think you made a mistake in defending him? No, I, I believe he did do a good job. And no, I'm I curious to know why he I'm curious, too. Me. I can't figure that one out. All right, so you pick Nick, and you pick Sam. You four, Bill, Kwame, Troy, Bowie, go back up to the suite. You three, Nick, Jason, and Sam, go out, and we'll call you back when we're ready. One of you is going to get fired, as you know. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, Alan. Thank you, George. What do you think, George? I, I'm looking at the overall goal. You're looking for somebody that's going to be an apprentice in our organization. I cannot, for the life of me, visualize that Sam in that type of position. I think he's going to get some company in huge trouble, or he's going to take some company to a level that they never knew about. Okay, correct. But he is not the reason that this particular event failed. This, now, to me, is a harder choice than the first choice. It's your decision. It is my decision. Let's bring him in. Let's see what happens. OK. Robin. Let them come in, please. OK, Mr. Trump. Okay, you can go in now. Excuse me, Mr. Trump. Can I have a chance to defend myself? Yes. You look angry walking into the room, actually, and the answer is yes. Go ahead. Now. May I stand up? Yes. Mr. Trump, George, Carolyn, I've come here to win. I've come here to, to earn the apprenticeship through performance. Now, I have no idea why he's choosing me on these grounds specifically. At the end of the day, I was asked to critique the performance of the overall presentation. If you ask Kwame, I gave him a crash course in public speaking. Is that true? Yes. Yes, it is true. Then with that being said, if, I, if I'm not capable of having the apprenticeship, um, why, why are you asking me to do these responsible things? I, I would just like it for it to be backed up Go ahead. I had to make a decision. Why? Why, Why is it me? Because it has to be somebody. So Nick, you're very angry at Jason. I guess the biggest problem I have with you picking Nick is he was the one guy that really defended you. So there's a little disloyalty there, but I mean, that's the way life is. Nick, you're going to get used to that. Life Absolutely. is me. I have to be honest with you. You might as well sit down, because you're not going to be thrown out anyway, OK? I mean, Thank you. I was a little surprised you were picked. But it doesn't matter, because I'm going to make the decision. You're not going to be thrown out, OK? Thank you. Thank you so very much. So now we're down to Thank these you. two. Go ahead, Sam, say. Jason's making a lot of mistakes. He's showing a, a high capacity for making mistakes. Don't you think he did make the mistake of not meeting with the president? Absolutely. 
Well, Sam, didn't you sleep through most of this? No, I did not sleep. He was curled up on the side of the floor. He constantly was complaining about the in situation. In the fetal position. In the fetal position. Yeah. This is good, Nick. In the, in the fetal position. This is good. And what, yeah, what you're laughing, asking. Which I love when he laughs. Don't, Nick, don't say anything. You're not going to be chosen. Don't blow it. Sit there, be good. You look like a West Point cadet. If you say something, who knows? But these two are fighting for their life. OK, I, I don't go think ahead. I'm fighting for my life here, Mr. Trump. I think you're fighting for your life. OK, well, you know what? I think that, you should be fighting for your in life. In many okay. respects, you've been a disaster, Sam. Jason. Sam, when I asked you to get something done, you couldn't get it done. And I gave you one small job the whole day, one job the whole day, and you fell asleep doing it. You fell asleep doing it. And, and Nick, nobody else remember? was here besides Nick was not there. It was Troy and you, and you fell asleep doing that job. And I'm not trying to attack you, Sam, but when you say that I'm a bad leader, if I have another opportunity to become a leader, and uh, it's a little bit earlier than when we're crunched for time, I would have taken this home, no doubt in my mind. And I'm not saying it was just that, but you're focusing on the fact that I didn't meet with the president personally. You have to remember. That's a big fact. That's it a is. big fact. It is. It is, Mr. Trump. But well, you've just learned a big lesson. I did. I, I did learn a lesson. Now, I have to say, Sam, you're sort of a disaster. I don't know what's going on. And don't, don't take offense. I, I don't take offense. Mr. Don't Trump. take offense. But, I mean, everyone hates you. Everyone. I don't think they hate yeah, you, Yeah, pretty Trump. close. OK. Some okay. hate. Some hate. So far, you've got no respect from anybody. Would you, you say that's that a correct right, statement, Nick? I'd say that's correct. Pretty close, right? Good. Pretty See close. how quiet he is now? He's very happy. And he's a role model for me, Mr. Trump. Look, he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. And I happen to think he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. You, I haven't figured out yet. The problem is, Jason, that you made the mistake of not meeting with the president, and you made a mistake. Mr. Trump, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Jason. Jason, this is a tough one. You're fired. Go ahead, fellas. Hit the elevator. Have a good evening, all three of you. Jason is a spectacular young man who I think is going to be tremendously successful, who didn't deal with the boss. And that's why he was fired. I got to tell you, that was a tough one. I agree. It's tough, dude. Because you know what? It's going to get a lot tougher. Yeah, it will. You know, as a man, I'm so disappointed with you guys. I don't know what's happening. George, what happened this time? I mean, this is just nuts. Sam, you were the team leader. Yes, I was. Well, I think we had a successful plan, and everybody understood the plan. And at the end of the day, although everyone did try, the plan was not implemented. Is it Sam's fault, do you think, fellas? Kwame. Yeah, I think it is Sam's fault. If you look at how the, the overall procedure broke down, we knew that the golf 
club had a large spread and we could negotiate. We also knew that the um, leg wax had a large spread, and that's where we got beat on those two items, $119 on the golf club and 50 or so dollars on the leg wax. So what did Sam do to mess you up? So we were on our way to get the leg wax. We immediately got a call around 11.30 or so saying, you must go to buy the gold now before noon. Gold is not going to change based on whether you buy it before noon or not, and also there's not a lot of margin in it. And we said that, we still got, look, you know, we did our research, you have gotta leave Chinatown now and go get the gold. The problem with the golf clubs is we, we were furnished two numbers. The second number we called, the store didn't even carry golf clubs. Right. So we're sitting here True. looking at each other, what kind of, what kind of but backup? But you went to a golf store. Wait a minute, we're, and we were kind of, that's when we were kind of perplexed, like, this is the number, this is the address you gave us to go buy the golf club. You have to I called the coach. I, I called the store and they said, we're sorry, we don't even carry golf clubs, sir. Nick, you think Sam's a leader? I think he displayed leadership qualities during the task. Uh, whether or not I would have made the same decisions, I'm not quite sure. Do you guys think Sam's a leader? No, and here's why Sam's not a leader. When we have to all, the rest of the team, tell Sam, calm down, stay calm, Sam, stay calm. That's not showing the shine of a good leader. What about you, Kwame? I think he's already shown some success, but in your role, no, I don't think he'd be capable. I think it actually comes down to respect. If I had had respect, true respect. Did they not respect you, Sam? Not everyone. Who did not respect you? Kwame and Bowie. Do you respect Kwame? I respect everyone at this table. I have not earned the full respect that's for of sure. everyone at the table. I and would that's, say that's, a, that's probably true. the most true statement yes. that you've made. And I can't lead until I have that respect. They can't make it. But you have to get the respect. I do. You have to and earn it, and if you don't earn it, you have to demand it. Right. And you know what? Yesterday I could have demanded it better. And that's what I'm learning. But I am a leader. But they don't respect you, Sam. So look, Sam, you choose two people who you think were at fault for your continuous defeat. I mean, it's crazy what's going on here. I feel confident that the two people who most led to this defeat are Kwame and Bowie. I thought you were gonna say that. That was obvious, Sam. You didn't choose Nick because he was nice to you. But Bowie and Kwame were critical, so you chose them. Okay, Sam, Kwame, and Bowie, wait outside. The other three, Nick, Bill, and Troy, go up to your suite. You guys go outside, come back in in a little while. I'm going to discuss this. Thank you. I think Sam is a total disaster. But the whole team made mistakes. My personal feeling is that, uh, that he's the, the bad factor as long as he's there. I think he's a disruptive influence. I'd be curious to see how the team does when he's gone. I came in there with a big word. On, I had a piece of paper, and it was respect. And I actually thought you all did respect me. And I think you do to some what, degree. What, what makes you? And I, I, I said I, like I did talk respect you. I'll tell you that to your face. But I you didn't there. You. Yeah, no, I'll tell you that to your face now. What, what, makes, you, what makes you think we did respect, respect you? No, I think you, wait a second. I, I, I have respect for everyone, okay, so that's why I take that right, personally. Right, No, you know Truly. what? Okay, and I'm sorry. All right, let's go. Robin, let him in. Okay, Mrs. Trump. You go back in now. Okay. Go oh, go ahead. All right. Okay, guys, I just want you to know, hey, it's no, a loss, whatever happens. That's right, no, 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 not, not personal at all, not at all. You know, two of you are going up on the elevator to the famous suite, and one is going down on the elevator to the street. And you tell me, Kwame, why you shouldn't be going down on the elevator. I shouldn't be going down on the elevator because I did not make a critical judgment error to go after gold versus negotiating the clubs. And also, if I need to go home because I don't respect Sam, then I need to go home. What do you think, Bowie? I think I should be going up to the suite and not going home because Sam has proven that he is not successful as a follower in this team, and he's mm. also not successful as a leader. What do you think, Sam? I think that if I can earn, truly, 100% earn the respect. Isn't that just rhetoric? I mean, I don't you keep so. saying that. I okay. mean, isn't it over, Sam? I hope Isn't not. it really over? Is what over? It's over. Don't you think it's over? I mean, not just these two guys, just everybody. They just no. don't seem to have it. You are going to see great successes from the men. Well, you know, I hope I'm going to really see great successes from you, Sam. But no longer with us. You're fired. I have no choice. You're fired. Hey, 
For two weeks, you've been on the edge. You know that. But now we have to go. You're fired, Sam. All right, so you guys go up. Sam, you go down. And we'll see. Sir, thanks, sir. Thank you for your time. Thanks, George. Thank you, Carolyn. Go ahead, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Sam is a crash and burn. He's got to be careful, because he's a wild man. That was too obvious. That's the first easy decision well, That was a little had. dramatic there, That huh? was one of our easy That was decisions. an easy decision. Yeah, I think we can call it a night now. Okay, fellas, so what happened? As team leader, first of all, excuses don't explain and explanations don't excuse, so I'm not here to offer any today. Where it seems like we got beat was at the bar. With being outnumbered five to eight, we weren't able to assign more resources to help build in the restaurant itself. So that's where we got beat, and I think it was really because of numbers, and I think we executed our strategy well. I got the feeling from all of you, all you're trying to do is protect your ass. You weren't really looking at whether you were going to win this one. You didn't have the manpower. Work harder. Move faster. When the women were there, everybody was smiling. Nikki looked like he was dying out on the street uh, and I, said, I, what am I doing here? I disagree with that 100%. I was happy. I was upbeat. I bought a brought a significant amount of traffic in that day, especially to a younger crowd, mid-20s, late 20s. Let me ask you something. How many coupons were redeemed? It wasn't, a, it wasn't a ton. OK, you're five very intelligent people. And three of you were busy giving $5 coupons right? instead of being in the operation, seeing what could improve the operation. Like increasing your bar and merchandise sales. Take your seed money and hire somebody. That's why you see people walking around with those big you know, placards giving cards away, because management's not going to do it. They're too busy. They're too valuable. Bill, who do you think did the worst job in the group? I was inside the restaurant the entire night. I did not have a pulse on what was going on out there. So for me to make uh, a decision like that, it's not fair. Who do you think, Nick? Who blew it? Kwame. Why? There was a tactic that was used later on in the evening that uh, I didn't agree with, and that's what I'm basing this decision on, about one of the sales tactics to get people in the restaurant. What was the sales tactic that you didn't agree with? They had a table, uh, basketballs. It was kind of like he was a celebrity. Get your autograph, signed autograph by Kwame Jackson. I just thought it was misleading. All right, Troy, what's the answer? Well, I would have to absolutely say Nick. I didn't feel the smile and the enthusiasm off of Nick. I think Nick does wonderful, but he was disappointed yesterday. All right, Bowie, who? I hate to say this, but I, I truly think operating the worst, I would have to say Nick. Nick was doing great early on, and then he, he lost it. He lost his motivation, and it dropped away. And, and, and I'm a big fan of staying positive all the time. It, it, it's a little discouraging to see members of my team I, that, behaving in a way that I would never do something like that. Like who? Uh, Kwame and Troy with that whole sales play. That'll deflate anybody. How can I stay upbeat when, when that's going on? What about when that little kid who just spent 12 bucks on a ball goes home in the internet and looks up Kwame Jackson and doesn't see anything? It was the same idea of capitalizing, like the women capitalizing on their sexuality. I had some balls and basically I signed them and I never told anybody I played a sport that I was in any no. team. I said, I'm Kwame Not Jackson enough. from Charlotte, North Carolina. That was it. And what happened? What happened? You lost. lost. What happened? We lost. We lost. That's we lost. Lost. You lost. Obviously, there were some areas of opportunity that we could have improved upon. But since Troy took the lead, the end result was a loss. Now, Kwame, you're the team leader. Who are the two people that you think 
did not do a good job. I think Nick, because he just checked out of the game and that disappointed me, a tougher choice is to say Bowie. Because if I look at Troy as an A-plus effort in terms of his creative ideas and his energy on the street, and I look at Bill in terms of his A-plus effort and his ability to manage the restaurant all by himself, I have to say that Bowie, relative to those two A-pluses, was an A but underperformed. And so that's why I have to say Bowie and Nick. All right. Then Troy and Bill, you go up to the suite, and Kwame, Bowie, and Nick. You three guys go outside, and we'll call you back in a minute. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Nick. He is not a team player. I tend to agree with you, George, where I don't like the fact that he's taken himself out of the game, and whenever something doesn't go his way, he just removes himself. But you could make the case that Kwame did a lousy job as the captain. Yeah, I still think Kwame's got a lot of leadership qualities, and I wouldn't like to see him go. What about letting go of Bowie? He's very energetic, enthusiastic. But he was in charge of merchandising, and that was a total failure. It's a tough choice. It's a tough call. Let's just talk to him for a minute. Robin. Let him in. OK. You can go in now, guys. Kwame, as the team leader, why wouldn't you be fired tonight? Why wouldn't I be fired as a team leader? Because if I had to judge my performance relative to Nick's, I think that I outperformed. May, may I speak, Mr. Trouble? Yeah. I, I, I would argue that there's some to try. They're trying to eliminate me. They're trying to eliminate me. If, if we're I, okay, go ahead. I believe I'm the strongest here, and I am a born leader. Now, yesterday was a bit embarrassing. I'm not going to participate in shenanigans like that. Were you in favor of it or not? Uh, at first, no, I wasn't in favor of it. If, I was, if you ever want to say if I was 100% in favor of it, no, I was not. But at the end, you were very much in favor of it. Not very much. Some. But I was not promoting. I was promoting the happy hour because I knew that's what so was bringing So you were teetering a little bit. That's right. I was teetering. I, I was walking the gray line. This is a very, very tough choice. There's no clear-cut decision here. Kwame, you did a lousy job in leading. The women beat you up. You made some questionable ethical decisions. But I really believe you have a lot of potential. So you live for another week, and we see you. Bowie Sir. really have shown a lot. I I'll be honest. Sir. But you failed miserably in merchandising at Planet Hollywood. Nick, you gave up on your team, but at times you've shown great potential. I would love to see you lead next week. And therefore, Bowie, I have to say you're fired. Thanks, George. Best of luck, Bowie. Yeah. Bowie is somebody I really like. I just don't know that Bowie presented himself very well. This was that tough. was a tough decision. This I'll was say tough. that was. Tough. It's only going to get tougher. But hopefully, we made the right decision.
trust her. Um, my gut says to trust her right now. So basically stay as little as possible. Little as possible. I think you're right. So you were badly beaten. You're not used to being beaten, are you? No, I'm not. Doesn't happen often. No. Are you surprised? I'm surprised I handled certain aspects of the project badly. Yes, I am surprised. I'm surprised, too, because you were doing so well until this. I tried to lead by group consensus. And Which is not always a good idea. I realized, by consensus? I, I realized that was one of my biggest mistakes. OK. What do you think, Bernie? Well, I think there are a lot of errors in judgment. But the biggest error, by the way, Donald, is there was $183 missing that nobody could account for. They lost their own money. Did you lose it, or did somebody steal it? We don't know what happened to it. As you know, business is largely about making money. You folks lost your money, which was pretty hard to do. You know, I don't get it. I don't get how it happened. Kwame, you were here, you saw everything. Who did a lousy job? If I were Christy, I'd probably have to choose Amorosa because she was financial manager, even though we can't track who directly lost the funds. Well, who was... lost the money? I mean, that's pretty I bad. I account for the money exactly to the point that uh, the project manager asked me to turn it over to her in Chinatown. She stuffed the money in her back pocket and asked me to keep an eye on her bottom when she took the money out to make sure none of it dropped on the ground. You have your finance person and you have your team leader, and the money somewhere disappeared between the hand and the ass, right? <laughs> Mr. Trump, I, I was not originally assigned to be finance manager. I saw a need, and I stepped up to the responsibility. Do you think you could have done better? Yes. I, I grew up going to flea markets. I know how to buy low and sell high. I've watched my mother buy all of our school clothes at Goodwill. Jesse, what do you think? I think it was management. I you think, think it was project management. Christy. Christy. You think she blew it? What do you think, Heidi? I think... Um, You've been very, very quiet. Well, you have never, never addressed me, you know? OK, go ahead, Heidi. Where do you think the money went? You know, I, to be honest with you, I don't know where it went. OK, Christy, you were great until today. But today, you really didn't do so well. As project manager, I'm holding you partially responsible. But pick two people who you think contributed to your failure as a team. Who are the other two you're picking? It has to be Omarosa. And because I'm forced to make a choice, unfortunately, I have to say Heidi. Are you surprised by that, Heidi? I had an idea. I did nothing wrong. I'm a good leader, I'm a good businesswoman, and I sure as hell can sell. But and you're pretty tough, aren't you? Yes, I'm very tough. OK, the three of you, Christy, Omarosa, and Heidi, go outside. You'll come back in a moment. Jesse and Kwame and Troy, go back upstairs to your suite. You made it. Barely, but you made it. OK, go ahead. Carolyn, what's the reason Christy did so badly with this task? And before that, she was a, a superstar. Well, maybe she's a, a good employee, not a good employer. She's a worker, not a leader, Donald. Perhaps she couldn't she's handle a the leadership role. I don't know. I still think Christy has potential. And let's face it, Omarosa was in charge of the money. Robin, let him come in. OK, Mr. Trump. OK, you can go in now. Well, Christy, as of and until today, you were really a star. You were doing fantastically well. Thank you. But sit. Heidi, I thought you were overly aggressive, but that's OK. You know, I know a lot of people that are overly aggressive, and they do very well. OK. But sit. 
Now, you know what that means, right? Gotta go. Do you think I'm making the right decision? No, absolutely not. Well, I didn't make a decision. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Christy, until tonight, you were a star. You were a true star. And I really thought great things. But then I saw Heidi fighting for her life. I saw Amorosa fighting for her life. And I didn't see that fight in you all of a sudden. Now, you lost the fight. You never even said anything in your own defense. And I don't get it. So, Christy, you didn't fight for yourself, and you're fired. Can I argue anything? It's not going to help. It's not going to matter. Go ahead. Thank you. Christy was really great, but she didn't stand up for herself. She didn't fight back, and I was surprised. I thought she was very good, but she blew it. Absolutely. She took the heat without any defense. Yeah. Which meant it was all true.